huge for you guys to get onto the network and to get onto a, a big television platform like TNN was. It was the Nashville network for those right. that don't remember. But unfortunately, not really, I think, what everybody kind of expected. Uh, what was the general tone and the general feel of the jump to ECW on TNN? I think TNN was our downfall. I think that destroyed us. Um, you know, we, we had a pretty strong show on syndication. And uh, everybody loved it. It was great. Uh, the problem was it was syndication. Not everybody received it. So you had right. to do tape trading, underground crap, blah, 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 blah. Um, when we got on TNN, we thought this was going to be our savior and it was a disaster. They had their thumb on us. There were certain things we could do. We could not do. Um, and that's where the whole angle of the network came from because right. the network didn't want us to do this. The network didn't want us to do that, blah, blah, blah. So we ran with it and we made Cyrus the network and it, and it, you know, it, it fit, it worked out. Right. Then we find out that we were the guinea pigs for that channel to see if wrestling would sell but they already had a deal with vince mcmahon waiting for now we only signed for a one-year contract so as soon as our contract was up we knew he was going right to vince right so in that year you have a company that's not even running commercials for you i've said this so many times. you couldn't find a commercial for us no oh, but <laughs> when they did air it was like Friday night at like six and we were on what time? Eight, nine, eight, eight or nine. I think uh, maybe it was eight. Eight o'clock. I, I think so, so. A commercial would run like right before, Oh, catch ECW on TNN. It would be like seven fifty-five, and you're, Oh, okay. There's a commercial. Awesome. <laughs> now no back to hee haw on TNN. <laughs> no promotion whatsoever. You know, I remember when we first signed and they made us go to like a party I think I told you about this before. They, uh, not the whole, the whole um, locker room didn't go. I was one of the, uh, the chosen people to go to this network party. And I remember they had like goodie bags and inside it was like TNN stuff, you know? And I was like looking around. And I'm just like, I don't even know how the hell I'm here. Like what is going on? <laughs> you know what I mean? But we did not feel like we fit in. We didn't feel like we were a part of the network because right. they didn't treat they treated us like the ugly stepchild or something you know what i mean it yeah. was it was not a good fit um i don't feel that they were honest with us i don't know if paul knew the deal ahead of time like hey you know we're gonna give you a year we're gonna sign with vince like i don't know did he know that we don't know you know, but it I was I, rumored almost after you guys started that when USA's uh, contract with WWF was up, that they were going to move to another network. And mm -hmm. TNN was pretty well known that they were going to make the play for WWF. Well, they did. And they 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 got them. And uh, it just to me, I, I feel like if we could have stayed, you know, if we would have stayed syndicated and found somebody else, may, that might have been better for us. It, it couldn't have been worse. It couldn't have been. How could it have been worse? Now, with Paul changing some things for TNN, you know, they they things they wanted, there's things they didn't want. Do you think it affected booking? Because the roster was also changing at that point in 99. We were seeing folks starting to leave. We were seeing some of the, the long-term ECW stars departing. We were seeing a lot of newer faces. Do you think it changed the way Paul booked the shows? I feel like... In a way, yes, because again, like we at this point, we have two shows. So the edgier stuff would go on this hardcore TV, which was our syndicated show. And ECW on TNN got the watered down version of what we were. Right. So there were things, like I said, that we were not allowed to physically do on the network, on the national network. But on syndication, I mean... Look at what you just saw. That that was if if that that was on TNN with the homeless guy, right? If that was yeah. on syndication, we probably would have lit him on fire or something. Like that. <laughs> it would have been so much more. You know what I mean? It was just yeah. it was apples and oranges. It was a completely different ball game when we got to TNN. Miserable. Just, yeah, it's just funny because you know TNN was not anything except for the country music channel before right. CMT. It was 
a lot of Western based programming, you know, in terms of like Cowboys and classic movies, concerts, you know, like if they had a talk show on, they're bringing on, you know, some country acts. And when you heard ECW was going there, you're like, uh, that's completely backwards and shouldn't be the case. But now let me throw this one out to you too. Years later, TNN would become Spike TV. Right. Had ECW been able to penetrate yeah. Spike TV. Yeah. Whole different the ball Nashville game. network or Spike TV. Now, come on, you tell me. Incredible. Of course, it would have been better if it was Spike TV. It was a, it was a whole different format. The programming was completely different. It was an edgier uh, demographic wise. It was a younger crowd who watched Spike TV. You know what I mean? It was, it yeah. wasn't our demographic. TNN was not aimed for people who liked wrestling. It, it, it just wasn't, no. it was not a good fit. And, um, you know, while it brought us to the national stage, it brought a watered down version of what we were to the national stage. Right. It's going to get your casuals that are channel surfing on a Friday night and just so happen to see wrestling on television right. and, oh, and, look. and not the good stuff. Right. But that's where I remember seeing Dusty Rhodes for the first time in ECW was on well, yeah. PNN. And that's where like, okay, that could draw on the casual who's just uh, well dusty fit the the net the the nashville network pretty he good he did <laughs> so, yeah i you mean know, there were, you know i i just feel like if you looked at their programming and what they offered we were the lead what were we the lead into roller jam or roller ball or whatever it was the same eventually program. I think eventually it turned, it was, yeah, roll the re, the rebirth of roller derby or something yes, like that. Exactly. It was like the, the good old boy stuff. And, and it was just, that's not, you know, it, if WCW were to be on there, I think that would have been like a better yeah, fit well. than, than ECW <laughs> was. Like, I, I just never, I know that that's probably the best deal Paul could have got at that time, but I just felt like it was such a waste. It was a waste of time for us. It just, it didn't help us. I think no. it hurt us. You know, I, yeah, I don't. In the long run. And it, you know, again, if, if social media was what it was then, we could have been, you know, we could have moved to maybe YouTube premium where you could have paid for a subscription to watch our show. Like there could have been so many more options to save the company but back then there wasn't you know there wasn't all this stuff available so that's okay um it's unfortunate you know but it is what it is